All right, so uh, Israel. There isn't really much I can say about Israel. Of course, I've never been there, so it's kind of just, well, I know of it. I'm going to be talking about a problem that's sort of been around for quite some time in Israel right now. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have heard about this game known as Raid Shadow Legends. I don't know, because it's been pretty low-key. It's been pretty under the radar for the most part, honestly. It, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't hear about it. Anyways, it's kind of, how do I say this? Kind of sketchy? Like, let me just explain. So, for the longest time, Israel's been known as an illegitimate state by neighboring countries. In fact, it's been almost like a meme. Just to s say, like, oh, Israel's an illegitimate state and just out of context. Essentially, what's happened is Israel has some disputed territory and people are questioning their ability to actually keep control over that territory and lay claim to it. They have a lot of enemies. Like, they got a, they got a lot of people they pissed off. So, I would not be surprised if someone were to say, try to sabotage them in a very creative and sort of low-key way that no one would really think of. Well, I guess low-key is not the word for it, but you'll see what I mean in a second. So, Raid Shadow Legends. Recently, there's been a pretty alarming discovery. Raid Shadow Legends has actually been made in Israel. If you go to Wikipedia, games manufactured in Israel, you've got Raid Shadow Legends right there on the list. The problem I'm having with Raid Shadow Legends is its reviews are kind of, like, mixed. You'll see on app stores and Google Play Store, things like that, it'll be like, oh, it's a 4.3 out of 5 stars, It's a so that's gotta mean it's a pretty good gacha game, but I mean, overall reception on YouTube and in general people who actually played the game, they just, they just say it's shit, so I'm inclined to believe that maybe this game has some rating boosting going on, but that's not the big issue here. The big issue here is this. Somebody is trying to sabotage Israel once again. Now, I don't know who it is exactly. I'm still sort of uncovering this story as I'm speaking, but why in God's name would a game like Raid Shadow Legends a game that can be actually considered illegitimate be made in an illegitimate state. Like, it's just too perfect. What I'm uh, getting from this is that uh, Raid Shadow Legends seems to be trying to make Israel look even worse than it already is. The thing that I find most uh, confusing about this whole situation is the fact that where'd they get all the damn money for the advertisements? Like, don't get me wrong, I know that advertisements nowadays, especially on the internet, it's uh, pretty cheap in general, but just that amount and that massive wave of ads for Raid Shadow Legends is just goddamn ridiculous. Like, I, I, I don't understand it. Someone's gotta be fun in this stuff, right? So then I thought to myself, well, could it possibly be that the state of, sorry, not the state of Israel, Israel itself as a, the government is funding Raid Shadow Legends' uh, ad campaign so that they can gain sort of notoriety from this game in order to bolster their economy. Which at first glance, I mean, it seems like a probable theory. Thinking about it, I mean, Israel hasn't really been known for game development since well, ever, and this would be a good leap in the right direction, this could open up jobs, this could just in general help the general economy of Israel, especially since they're in a tight spot right now, with all their neighboring countries calling them a bunch of bitches. But then I had another thought. I looked over this game and I was like, in general, this game really doesn't seem all that good, to be honest. You could even say that it's false advertising with all the ads they've put out and it's just a bunch of bullshit. It's a, I mean, it's a goddamn gotcha game, what do you expect? Like, there, it's a game designed to make profits off of microtransactions, so, I mean, you gotta expect it's gonna be a little bit scummy, but overall, this game has gained a sort of reputation as, well, illegitimate. Now, Israel's already in a pretty bad spot. They're considered illegitimate, so why in God's name would they fund a game that could potentially put their reputations in shambles if it didn't succeed in bolstering the economy? So with that being said, is it possible that maybe one of the neighboring countries that considers Israel Ill an illegitimate state could be plotting something to sort of give them a bad rap, give them a bad reputation, maybe take them down for good? Now look, I'm not here to accuse anyone, but I'm just saying. Looking at this situation with Raid Shadow Legends and all the funding they got out of nowhere, this game, I mean, this game literally just came out of absolutely goddamn nowhere. In fact, I feel like it won't be long until Raid Shadow Legends itself, the company or the Twitter account, pulls some absolutely wacky shit in the near future that'll just absolutely incriminate Israel, so I'm, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I'm just saying, it's a little bit sketchy. Just a little bit sketchy. Something doesn't add up here. Something about Raid Shadow Legends, I don't know. There's just, there's something weird about it. I'm just gonna leave it at that. But in, in turn, just keep on the lookout because something shady's going on down at Raid Shadow Legends Studios, wherever the hell that's actually located. And uh, yeah, stay safe out there, folks.